Hi everyone! So uh, there is some interest in AI videos um, and I have told you that I uh, didn't have uh, much uh, success with them uh, yet uh, in my portfolio uh, and um, that I cannot uh, actually uh, like give you uh, advice on what uh, kind of videos to make but I uh, can uh, show you some things for sure uh, so AI videos are, are quite uh, new so I also think that it's like basically new also for the clients because the videos look a certain way that people maybe were not used to so right now in my opinion it's uh, like quite of a gamble uh, of like what's gonna sell, what's not gonna sell, uh, but for sure it's a niche. There isn't uh, that many AI videos on Adobe yet compared to like photos and uh, let's say uh, regular uh, videos. So if this is something that you are interested in for sure, uh, it is, I think, um, a good idea to familiarize yourself uh, with the videos. And so this is this uh, is going to be like a part one. And I'm going to uh, show you the, the video apps that right now or generators that are right now available. And in each video, I will talk about one of uh, the generators after I myself familiarize uh, with them. And uh, today uh, we are going to talk about uh, Runway. Uh, so let me uh, share my screen now. Uh, so, uh, so this is uh, how the Runway um, app uh, looks. So you have a field here and you have an option to just put in uh, the text prompt, uh, an image and an image plus description. Uh, so uh, you can try to do different things, uh, but what I'm going to show today is just uploading an image. Uh, so with all of those generators, uh, you have uh, like a free uh, trial where you can generate some videos for free but the generated videos have uh, the watermark and cannot be used commercially so um, on some other creators video i saw a comment that you know can you like um, remove the watermark um, uh, in some like, you know, AI app and then upload it to Adobe Stock. Well, no, you shouldn't. Uh, really, the free versions do not have commercial licenses. So I wouldn't uh, risk that if I were you. So, uh, so if we here uh, pick the image, uh, so what you do is you generate as you always do in the mid journey. Uh, the aspect ratios should be uh, 16 to 9 or 9 to 16, which is like not the case with this photo. It will generate from anything that you upload, but, uh, but I suggest you do 16 to 9 or 9 to 16 for a vertical one. And so you generate an image that will then become a video. And you upload this image uh, to uh, this um, uh, window right here. And then you have some options. Uh, so uh, you can uh, choose uh, different uh, things here, like if you want it upscaled right away, uh, you know, to remove the watermark, you need, uh, you need uh, to pay. Uh, then we have um, uh, some additional uh, additional settings. Uh, what uh, we uh, need to look at is the camera motion. So you can pick how the camera in your video is going uh, to move. Uh, so you can have vertical or horizontal. 
you can have um, like a zoom or the roll pen tilt so there is a lot to um you know experiment with you can also just leave it a b which i'm gonna demonstrate uh, what it did when i just didn't enter actually any uh settings and the uh, kind of a newer option that they have is the brush so this is uh, the brush that i already used on uh, this image so by using the brush you can um uh, you can choose uh, the uh, the part of the image that you uh, will want to be animated and here again you you can see uh, the the motion that it can have it can be horizontal vertical or you can zoom in and uh, zoom out uh, and now it has also an option for multiple brushes so you can have different brushes for different parts of images doing different uh, things uh, for you so this is interesting it will uh, like uh, create kind of a cinemagraph effect we will look at that and so uh, now i'm gonna demonstrate what i did so with this image i did not change any settings and just let the program do its work and let's see what it did so we can see that uh, the dog kind of comes to life and there is uh, like a slight uh, movement with the face and you can see that like it looks a little bit um, like not so great in my opinion for now like it doesn't look very natural uh, but you know like with different kind of images if you have a certain idea in mind I think you can play enough so that uh, it is the final result that you were uh, looking for uh, but I think it really takes some time to get used to it and uh, the final results can be very unpredictable with uh, this one so it really takes uh, time to uh, to like try it out and it's uh, good to use the free credits uh, you know and uh, first try it for free until you purchase um, the actual subscription on the second and uh, third image i used the brush and i wanted the crown to go up and the eyes to go bigger so it didn't do anything about the eyes but i'm going to show the effect that it did for the crown so it kind of goes up but here there's like some pink stuff going on around it and uh, also some pink effects uh, around the face uh, of the dog so as i said like it, the final result is a bit uh, unpredictable and in the third video it looks a little bit more natural so the the crown is like flying off um, you can see also the crown is changing a little bit and then nothing else uh, more or less is going on in uh, the video so i think for some videos it can be an interesting effect uh, if you have a good idea uh, like war, what part of the image you want to uh, animate and just uh, play uh, with the results and in the last picture this is the one that i have right here uh, i as i showed you used the brush and i uh, selected the looking glass uh, or the magnifier and i wanted the image to zoom and this is the final result so it's uh, zooming in uh, on the dog's uh, face uh, and I quite uh, like actually uh, this final result here and I think with this concept of the magnifying glass and zooming in on objects um, it is an idea that I think you can uh, play with and use this uh, generator for it so 
for the free version it gives us um, uh, like you can generate for four seconds and then you can extend your video by another four seconds uh, it will take uh, the credits um, and I feel like uh, with this program when I uh, extended my videos the extra four seconds um, like didn't improve the video much that it would do something that will mess up the final effect and I would need to cut it a little bit in uh, like I, I use iMovie uh, in iMovie uh, and play with it so uh, what I would suggest you do is just generate four seconds and then in uh, a video editing uh, program you can make it a little bit slower so that it's more uh, seconds than four because Adobe accepts um, the videos starting five uh, seconds length. Yes, yeah, so this, uh, this is the Runway uh, app. Uh, I'm going to link uh, the web uh, in, in the description. Uh, so this was a like small demonstration for you, uh, what you can do with uh, this one. So I uh, hope you liked it and it was helpful for you. Uh, if you have been generating videos for some time now, uh, maybe comment uh, in the comment section on how is it going for you, how the videos are selling and if you had any success or not because I personally was not able to sell um, a lot of videos uh, for now so we will see how, how it evolves in the future. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon.